there have been many questions on how to use my mod, the warp mod. And in this video, I will attempt to answer those questions and show you an in-depth tutorial on how to use the warp mod. Let's get started. All right, so from the mod page, which is just at the Curse Forge and then the warp mod, you will download the latest version of the warp mod or any version that you wish. This tutorial will not be version specific. Any version of the warp mod will f Now, the warp mod is available for up to, from 1.12.2 all the way until 1.16.4 as the, uh, the date of this recording. And all of them are functionally identical. In this video, I will be using the 1.16.4 version. Again, it does not matter. All right, so we will install the warp mod. It is as simple as installing Forge and then just dragging the warp mod jar file into the mod folder. I have already done this to save time using the Curse Forge launcher. And inside the mods folder, there is the warp mod. And then once you launch the warp mod or the Minecraft version with the warp mod installed, it will create a config folder and a folder inside of that called warps. When you open up that folder, if you've played any worlds, you will see the warps there. But when you open up that folder, you will see a settings.config folder or settings.conf folder, a file. You can open that in any text editor that you wish. I will be using VS Code. Here it is. And this is the default config with the warp mod. By default, all players are allowed to use the warp mod. And you can, if you would wish to change this, you can change it by using the format up here or in game by typing warp config add and then allowed players. And then you can add a player name. Granted, you will have to remove this wild card or the star or else it will just automatically let all players use it. So let's say we only want myself to be able to use it. I will type in my Minecraft username like so. And this is referring to who has the ability to use the warp config command. This cannot be just a wild card. It has to be a player's username. So I will put my username. And now we are done. Debug mode is if there's something going on with the mod and you just don't know what's going on, this will verbosely state all of the mod's movements. So every time it imports warps, every time it exports warps, every time it teleports someone, this will modify, this will uh, tell you. Public warps are um, warps that are publicly accessible to all players. And you can create these by doing warp, set the name of the warp, and adding a tack P at the end, which signifies it is a public warp. Now that this is done, we can go into a single player world. Um, in single player, these are not actually, um, these don't actually matter. Uh, because you're in single player, you will automatically have permission for the, allow the, uh, the warp mod and the warp config command. <clears throat> so let's launch the client.
I have already set up a few test worlds. These are the same test worlds from my testing of the mod in the Java environment. All right, so we will go to the single player tab and I have two worlds. One is a flat test, basically a flat world where I have objects in the world to test with. And the next one is just normal generation. First, we will go into the flat test. And with the mod, you'll be able to create warps by typing in warp set a warp name. Also, you will be able to list all warps by typing in warp list. Currently, there are no warps available, so it will pop up with no warps. You can also type in warp map, which will display the same, um, but it will display it verbosely. So if I create a warp, for example, me looking at this sign, I will say warp set sign. And now the warp has been created. So I can type warp list. And now that I see sign is available. And I can also type in warp map to see sign, the coordinates of sign and its dimension. This mod does work for cross-dimensional travel. Now, as you see, I'm looking at the sign when I created the warp. This will mean that my pitch and yaw, or the where I'm looking, the horizontal and vertical axis, will be saved. So I can walk over here and say warp sign, and now I'm looking at the sign. And if you didn't catch what I did just there, you can type warp and a warp name, so sign, and it will teleport you to that warp, like so. Every time you use the warp mod to change your location, it'll automatically create a back warp, which you can find by doing warp list or warp map, we'll show, which will show you the back warp. This will also happen if you die. So if I type in warp back, it'll teleport me back to where I warped from. Now there are a few built in warp locations. For example, warp spawn, which will bring me to the world spawn location. This will not, however, bring you to your bed if you I have set spawn via the bed. It will only bring you to the world spawn location. Now you can also warp random with this mod. So we can type in warp random. By default, it will warp you a maximum amount of blocks of 600 away. This means the range would be a minimum of 100 blocks and a maximum of 600 blocks away. You can, however, limit that to, let's say, 500 blocks or expand it to 1,000 blocks. This does not mean you will always warp 1,000 blocks away. This means you will warp a range between 100 and 1,000 blocks away, 1,000 being the maximum. So if we press enter, as you can see, we have warped 536 blocks away. And this will warp you in uh, both the X and the uh, Z coordinates. <clears throat> and it will always place you on the very top of whatever block is topmost. In this case, we are in a super flat, so there is no top block above what I'm currently standing on. I am just going to toggle weather to clear and set time.
There. All right, let's go back home. So let's do warp spawn because we did not set a home warp. And here we are. I am going to disable the F3 menu. And now we will tra travel into the nether so I can show you the way that that works. So we're in the nether and I can set it, I can set a warp here. Let's do warp set nether. Now that warp has been created, and you can type warp map to see that it does indeed say Minecraft the Nether. Now we can go around here. In the Nether, warp random will automatically place you on the Nether roof. So if I do warp random, as you can see, I'm on the Nether roof. This is because warp random takes the maximum height of the world and then subtracts until you reach ground. <clears throat> so in the nether, you will always be on the top. I could fix this, however, by placing it slightly below the, the nether roof if you are in the nether, although that could cause some issues with spawning in lava. <clears throat> that being said, with warp random, if the location that it detects that you can land is water, lava, or void, it will not teleport you. So if you are in the end and you do a warp random, you will not teleport into the void. If, however, it cannot find a, a safe place to land, it will show with no safe place to land. So let's go back to the nether portal. Here we are. Now, as I said, you can actually teleport between dimensions. So let's go warp sign. And now we are in the overworld next to our sign. And we can go back by doing warp back. And typing warp spawn while in the nether will bring you to the spawn of the nether. You can also teleport to other players cross-dimensionally and in the same dimension as you with this mod by typing warp. And if you wish to teleport to another player, you'd say me and then that player's name. In this case, I am in a survival uh, single player world, so I'm the only one here. But if I teleport and it detects that I'm the only one here, so it will say, you know, you're all alone, right? Granted, if I was with someone else in this world, I would teleport to them. And if you want them to teleport to you, you would type warp, their name, and then me. And it will give me the same message. But in that case, it would teleport them to you. All right. And there's just a few more things I'll show you in survive, uh, single player. This involves the normal generation in the warp random command. So if I do warp random, I'm on the topmost block. This can also result in you landing on the top of a tree. I'll try to do, do that now. There we go. As you can see, I'm on the top of a tree. Now I will warn you, this can lag servers and clients alike because what you are doing is you are generating new chunks instantly, which for some less performance servers, it can bring other players to a grinding halt. All right, now let's check it out on a server. For servers, the actual client does not need to be installed. So to demonstrate this, I will disable the mod on the client side. 
and I will launch the game again. While launching the game, I will pull up my server folder to show you what is inside. Inside the server, I have the same mod that was in my client, and inside the config, I have the settings.config, which has allowed players, everyone, allowed players to change the config, no one, and allowed public players, everyone. This is the default configuration that will ship. Although this default configuration is only default to 1.16 and up. 1.12, 13, 14, and 15, you will have to go into the config and manually change it for multiplayer worlds. Also, in a server and a client, the warps can be found. Oops. In the server and in client, the warps can be found in the same folder. So the warp, the warp instance config warps, and you will be able to see it will be the username underscore the world name. So if you're in a uh, single player world, it will choose the world name here. So these are just called new world one and two. And then inside of this, it will have your X, Y, Z coordinates and the dimension and the pitch and the yaw. This is very similar to how warp map appears. On the server, however, it will show up differently. It will actually just show up as the player name and then the location. It will not say server or the server name. Again, this is only for 116.4 and up. All other versions, it will say the player name and world. So if I type warp list, as you can see, I have no warps. All commands work exactly the same as on a single player world. I can type warp random and it'll teleport me 470 blocks away. Now, if I go into the server folder, as you can see, there is dcman58 or my username signifying that these are my warps. All I have is back because I just teleported. Now would be a great time to talk about public warps. You can create a public warp by typing in warp set warp name. So I'm going to set this as uh, flat. I guess, and then do a dash P. And as you can see, the public warps were not allowed at the time. So it will automatically create a private one in this situation. You can remove warps by typing in warp, remove the name. Or you can rename a world, uh, a warp, by typing in warp rename, let's say back to home. And now we can work home. Now we can work back because back has been recreated as this land here. To allow my player to change the warp config, I will add his name to the warp config list. So in here, I will add quotes and I will add my username. You do not have to restart the server. This is hot swappable. So now I'll type warp config set public allowed to true. 
In this will, update the config to allow public warps. Also, if you are not allowed to make public warps, or if you're not allowed to make uh, config changes, this is what will appear. If I type warp config, git, and then allowed players. Granted, this still has it cached as be allowing be being allowed to use. Some feature, oh, there we go. To remove myself, I can do warp config, remove config editors, my name. This will remove my name from the config editor. Now, if I type warp config git allowed players, it will say you do not have permissions to use this command. Contact server admin or consult the mods config to edit. And I can re-add my name like so. Then type warp config git allowed config editors. And I am allowed to con the edit the config. Let's talk about the warp config command. So there are a few different things you can do in here and you can see it with the autocomplete. So I can add, this will allow me to add players to the allowed players, the allowed public players. So players that are allowed to create warps. This will not be players that will be allowed to warp to public locations. That will be everyone that is allowed to use the warp mod. This is only people that are allowed to create public warps and config editors. These are people that are allowed to edit the config as we saw previously. We can also get, this will get the status of any config. So if we say get allowed players, this will show a star, meaning all players are allowed to use the warp mod or this would show a list of each player that is allowed to use the mod. We can also say allowed public players, which is the same. Config editors will show just myself. Debug, since debug mode is disabled, it will say debug mode is disabled. And we can get if public warps are also enabled or disabled. And as you can see, I am not opt on the server. So being server opt does not have any effect on whether you can use the warp mod or not. All right, I just set the game mode to peaceful so I wouldn't die. <clears throat> you can also remove people from the allowed players, public players, or config editors. And lastly, you can set Boolean values so you can set debug to true and public allowed to true. This means that public warps are allowed. So let's set public warps are allowed to true, even though it was already. Now we will be able to create a public warp. So warp set flat dash P. And then it will pop up with public warp created flat. And we can do a warp list, which will show that in the list. We can also do a warp list dash P, which will only show public warps. And if we go into the server config, you will now see a public conf file has been created with a single warp inside of it. This is flat. <clears throat>
and inside of mine, you will see nothing. Now, let's say you do not want to create a public warp, but you still want to be able to share your warp with another player on the server. You can do this by typing in warp invite the warp name to the other player. Again, I'm the only one on this server, so I will be the only one to show. And when you invite someone, it will come up with the warp name underscore from your name. And then they would be able to change it by doing warp rename, then the warp name. And that is how to use the warp mod. Have fun! If you have any more questions on the warp mod, or if you'd like to post an issue that you have found while using the warp mod, please feel free to visit my GitHub page or the Curse Forge page and post an issue in the Issues tab. Thank you, and enjoy the warp mod.